Hey guys, welcome back to VBA to Z. Uh, if you remember, in our last two videos, we have learned how to use VBA to control the web elements. Um, using uh, we have used the Internet Controls, Microsoft Internet Controls, and the HTML Object Library to do this. And today, I'm gonna show you one more thing, like uh, on how to use VBA to synchronize data from the web pages. Um, I have this web page uh, which is moneycontrol.com and um, here you have the latest uh, you know the most current stock market market action of the top buyers and you know I mean this is just an example so I'm not going into the thing but uh, the idea is basically to synchronize the data from the web page which you can see right here for example okay so I'm just gonna quickly dive in. Uh, for example, what I did for myself, I mean, I have done quite mm, a number of stuff using other tools as well. But um, for for me, you know, sometimes I try to you know synchronize how many views are there in the YouTube channel, for example, and how many subscribers are there in this channel, for example. Okay, so. We have, I've already created a connection and you know every time I run a micro it gives me you know the, my latest list of subscribers and the views as per the date so for example if I run this code right now uh, if I run this it will give me as of right now what is the subscribers I've got so I'm expecting uh, 53 and then 166 uh, thousand views right so if uh, so if you can see down here it's copying web data to sheet and um, it first copies the data to one sheet and then it try to pull this into a new sheet using you know loop and all this so if you look at this uh, this is 853 as you can see up here is 853 and then the views is same as of this so basically uh, we're trying to do a similar stuff here so I'm just gonna close this for now I'll create a new workbook okay this one is not uh, the one that we're using earlier this is a different one uh, we're gonna so first I have this link let me take this link uh, first the web page doesn't have to be open so let me close this I'm starting my recorder I'll just call this uh, same data and then I'll click on data and then I'll click on from web get external data from web I'll just go and put in this link and click on go. So if you get a prompt like this, just allow it to run. This is for the JavaScript and you know uh, the data that needs to be loaded for, for this page to work. Okay. Okay. So once your page is loaded, like you can see, if you see this arrow, so if you click on this box and if you click on import it will import the whole data that's on this page okay but since we don't want that uh, let's say I just want to uh, import all these tables okay so just tick this box for example let's import all these six tables okay so once you've selected uh, the table that you want or the data set so all that can be imported will you'll have a box like this the arrow mark basically so check that box and once you're done with that you just click on import okay so you select wherever you want to import uh, let's go to properties and quickly check that uh, uh, you know everything is fine enable this and if you want to put a name for this you know uh, import just put that name once you're done just click on ok and then ok again so i'm expecting that the data will be it looks like it's copying the data from the sheet so it uh once you are able to set up the connection it's definitely i'm stopping my recording it's definitely gonna work again the next time when you do it again so let's say i've cleared this data it will say like the range associated with the query is going to be deleted i'll say no just clear the data not the query okay so if you right click on this area you'll see there's a refresh there okay so as soon as you click on refresh it will synchronize the whole data again here for you like that so it's simple as that you can use a method like this to get the data you want from uh, any of the web pages 
okay works pretty consistent I've used this for a while and I hope uh, it should work for you as well so well, once you've set up the connection you'll be able to see the connection is here okay so if you go here you'll see this is the connection string like moneycontrol.com and all this okay so if you click on a query okay that you don't you can't do it for now that's just because this is not uh, like the other connections that will become like a fresh one that you will be creating again so uh, the other thing is like uh, if you go and see the code if you have to recreate this or if you have to share this to someone you can just uh, disable this common type equal to zero so for example let me just delete this tab okay let me just delete this tab and the connection is gone so if I run this I am expecting this to do the same kind of work that uh, was done so I just run the code and I'm expecting the data to come here right so it's there so this is how you can uh, pull the data from the web page and um, if you want to you know if you don't want to run this code every time you can simply uh, let me just record a macro again and just you know instead of running the same code I can just run the retrieve instead okay so if you go to the code you'll see here that uh, range one does select and then it's saying query table dot refresh background query false so this the, the top this thing data is basically this is creating connection and then importing the data from web okay so this is simply refreshing the connection so i hope you found this informative i'll you know have this uh the code in the blog as well but uh, i think you can just try it out yourself and then if you have any questions please feel free to come back for any questions so Sometimes you might not you might not get the data in the same layout like you want, but uh, the way it gets imported and works is pretty consistent. So you might want to write additional code to organize your data in a different tab and let this one be you know like the connection like the bridge to the website. So that's all for now. Thank you so much, and uh, we'll try to do more videos in coming days. Thanks for watching. Bye bye.